This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Rear brake pads renewal. Open the driver's door and pull the bonnet release lever twice. Fully raise the bonnet. Chock the front wheels. Using the locking wheel bolt adapter where necessary, slacken each of the wheel bolts half a turn. Position the workshop jack under the rear subframe control arms in a mounting point. Use a block of rubber or wood with a 25mm diameter hole counterboard in the top surface between the jack head and mounting point. Then raise the vehicle until the wheels are clear of the ground. If no rubber or wooden block is available, a thick piece of cardboard will suffice. Position axle stands under the sill jacking points, then lower the vehicle onto the stand. Fully unscrew the bolts and remove the wheels. A pad wear sensor is fitted to the right-hand rear inner brake pad. Unclip the sensor wiring from the bleed nipple, then pull the sensor from the pad. Fully release the handbrake, then pull down the caliper lever, disengage the handbrake cable end fitting, then slide out the clip and pull the handbrake cable from the caliper bracket. Using a slim, open-ended spanner to counterhold the guide pin, unscrew and remove the upper guide pin bolt, followed by the lower bolt. Note that new bolts will be required during reassembly and are normally supplied in the brake pad kit. Slide the caliper from place and suspend it. Remove the outer and inner brake pads from the caliper mounting bracket. Measure the thickness of the pad friction material. If any pad is worn to the specified minimum thickness, all four rear pads must be replaced. Remove the lower and upper anti-rattle shims. Check the condition of the guide pins and gaiters. The guide pins should slide easily, but without excessive play. Clean the caliper body and mounting bracket. Brush the dust and dirt from the caliper and piston, but do not inhale it, as it may be a health hazard. Refit the lower and upper anti-rattle shims to the caliper mounting bracket. Apply a little high temperature grease to the inner pad backing plate as shown. Note that the inner pad backing plate has a bulge to accommodate the pad wear sensor. Apply a little grease to the outer pad backing plate as well. Slide the outer brake pad into the caliper bracket, followed by the inner pad. Ensure the friction material is against the disc face. If new brake pads are to be fitted, the caliper piston must be pushed back into the cylinder to make room for them. Using a retraction tool, rotate the caliper piston clockwise at the same time as pushing it back into the housing. Keep an eye on the fluid level in the reservoir and remove any surplus with a syringe. Slide the caliper back into position over the pads and mounting bracket, then insert the new guide pin bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque. Fully insert the handbrake cable into the caliper bracket and secure it with the retaining clip. Pull the caliper lever downwards and reattach the cable end fitting. On the right hand brakes, undo the plastic nut, pull away the wheel arch liner slightly, then unclip and disconnect the padware sensor wiring plug. Release the sensor wiring from the bracket on the caliper. Connect the new sensor wiring plug and clip it into place. Make sure the wiring is clipped into the caliper bracket, then refit the wheel arch liner and secure it with a nut.
Insert the pad sensor fully into the inner pad backing plate and secure the wiring to the bleed nipple. With both sets of brake pads fitted, depress the brake pedal repeatedly until the pads are pressed into firm contact with the brake disc and normal pedal pressure is restored. Locate the wheel over the hub, insert and lightly tighten the bolts. Raise the vehicle, remove the axle stand and lower it to the floor. Tighten the wheel bolts to the specified torque. Don't forget to remove the front wheel chocks. Firmly close the bonnet.